Hi again, I'm Christopher Burley, a technology training specialist with Foothill College, and I'm here today to tell you a little bit more about CourseMap. So what is CourseMap? Well, you can think of it as more or less an educational GPS, so it essentially enables you, the instructor, to guide your students through the learning process. So they end up crossing the finish line and not necessarily getting stuck in the mud like this guy. So you're probably thinking, what are some of the instructor benefits of this course map feature in Etudes? Well, essentially it helps students navigate to the course activities and within the course site from one location. It also organizes key course items into a learning path, so they're grouped into units, weeks, whatever you choose. One of the major benefits for instructors is that you can control the open and due dates of all items from one page and edit the course items directly from the course map instead of having to go into assignments, tests, and surveys, into the modules section, or into the discussion section. So it enables really quick editing. It enables you to kind of create access control within the course, and this allows you to set up items that actually need to be finished in order to move on to other items in the course. For example, you could use a quiz um, that unless someone completed that quiz, they could not go on to Unit 2. And last but not least, it allows you to create a mastery level for your course. Ideal for practice skills tests, this allows you as an instructor to create assessments that have unlimited tries which will allow students to keep taking a test until they reach a certain mastery level before proceeding on to the next section. So what are some of the student benefits of CourseMap? Well first and foremost it's going to help them stay on target to meet their deadlines and to turn in things on time because all of their due dates are going to be visible in one page. Second they're going to be able to monitor their progress. Many items uh, that are completed have a green check next to them and things that are still in progress have another icon to indicate that they're still being worked on. Also, they're going to be able to go to the task directly from the course map, so all from one page they can get to all of their different tasks. Lastly, they're going to be able to access scores and instructor grading feedback directly from the course map. So let's get started. In order to access the course map, we first need to click on our course, and then we need to go over to the left-hand navigation directly under the home link and click course map. Now most of you should have the course map enabled for your class, but just in case you don't, you're going to need to go down to the site info link in the navigation and click on edit tools in order to add the course map here. So proceeding to the course map, we click on the course map link in the left navigation. The course map lists the following information from your course site. It lists your syllabus, the modules, except for the archived ones, discussions, especially gradable categories, gradable forms, and gradable topics, and it lists the assignments, tests, and surveys, such as this Unit 1 quiz that I have. When you notice a green check, it means it's published. That piece of your course is available to the students. If you notice a grayed out check, it means it's invisible to the students. And if you notice this triangular icon, it means it's invalid. There's some sort of error with the material that you need to fix. A red icon indicates the material is unpublished and not accessible to students. You'll notice several main columns. We have the block column, title column, open, do, accept and cut till, and then this column on the right which isn't labeled but it is the priority column. The block column is used in order to set an item within your course to actually prevent users from moving any further forward in the course before accepting that item or passing the item in case of a quiz for example. Title is the title of your learning material and the open, do, and accept until are all dates that you set in order to organize the linear progression in your course. Now over here on the right is an area in which you can manage uh, which objects come first according to your students view. One thing to know about course map is that all changes you make within course map persist outside of course map. So there's no need to change the dates within course map and within the modules. When you first come into course map, many of you are going to see this accept positions button. Now, if items have changed outside of the course map or if it's just loading for the first time, it's going to ask you to accept the order, meaning the priority order that all these items are in. Go ahead and just click accept positions and let's move on. Now, there's a few items in my course that I'd like to address. Namely, this unit one looks like there's an error. And when I go over here, I look at the open date being September 26th, the due date being October 2nd, and the accept until is actually October 1st, which is before October 7th, 2nd. 
I'm going to change this to October 2nd, 12, and click Save. And you'll notice that the actual warning icon goes away now. Next, I want you to see this invisible icon. Now, if it was actually September 26, this would show as a green icon. But because this isn't September 26 yet, it's only September 1st right now, it's not showing as visible to students. Next, I want to show you how to fix this unpublish issue. If you click on the actual quiz itself and then click on the assessments area, you can go ahead and select, in this case, Unit 2 and click the publish icon in order to move that into a, the published realm. And when we go back to course map, you'll notice that my quiz is now published and no longer has a red icon next to it. In order to add additional organizational structure to your course map, simply click a plus symbol underneath the area in which you'd like to add a header. Once a page reloads, for me, I'm going to type in unit 3. And all you have to do is go up and click Save to Finish. Course Map allows you to set the priority of items. For example, this week one item seems to be at priority number one. Let's say I'd like to put it at the end, so I would go down and select number 12, and the page would automatically save it and refresh it so it is in the right priority. Course Map also allows you to set up prerequisites or blockers, meaning that students cannot access anything below the blocker until the item is completed. For example, for a syllabus, they're not allowed to move forward in the course unless they've accepted the terms of the syllabus. Or for a quiz, they're not allowed to move forward in the course unless they've passed or taken the quiz. All you have to do is click the block checkbox next to the item you'd like to become a prerequisite and then click the save button in order to save your settings. Although not required, if you decide to implement a mastery level within your course, simply click within this box, type in a percentage, and then click the save button. This is ideal for assessments that have unlimited tries. I hope this brief overview has given you an orientation to Etudes course map. If used properly, course map can help get your students on a path to success. I've also included a glossary of icons to help you understand which each icon means within course map. Take care.